All right, hello everyone. Today we'll be starting Dynasty Warrior 6, starting off with Zhao Yun. Uh, let's see, I've already played through the story with him once before, but with all the characters. Uh, I recall Master and Chaos are actually kind of difficult in this game, so I guess I'll just play on hard. And if that's too easy, maybe I'll bump it up to Master. At the end of the second century, the later Han Dynasty was approaching its end. It was a time of war, beginning with a popular uprising known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. It was during this time that one provincial governor came to prominence. His name was Dong Zhuo. The governors formed a coalition in response to Dong Zhuo's villainy and moved to depose the tyrant. Amidst these troubled times, Zhao Yun wandered the land searching for a place to fight and a worthy master to serve. This day, he found himself fighting under the banner of Kong Sun Zan. Lord Gong Sun Zan, you can't start a fight here. Please, let us walk away together. You'll see you on Shao. I'm the one whose name will shine the brightest on the field of battle. <laughs> you want Shao doesn't even respond. He just knows he's better. Friend, thank you. It's lucky that he had you there by his side. I fear my fellow student has a temper. Forgive me. My name is Liu Bei. Let us defeat that traitor Dong Zhuo and bring peace back to our land. Zhao Yun, what are you doing? Zhao Yun is my name. I hope we meet again. Perhaps on the field of battle. Master Gong Sun Zhang, what do you know of the man I was speaking to? Liu Bei? He and I were students together. He was always quite gentle, but that's pretty much all he was. Just gentle? No. There's something about him. Gong Sun Zhang's just like, he is the type of person you refer to as a beta male. Yeah, Captain really wanted me to play Xiao Dun first, but like, it just feels wrong to not play Xiao Yun, considering, you know, he's on the cover, he's in the opening cutscene, he's the first character the game starts you on in any menu. I think this is the last game we have, uh, what well, they call lieutenants in this. They're sub-officers in other games. Samurai Warriors already got rid of them in Samurai Warriors 2. And they were nowhere to be found in Warriors Archie. I do like how, uh, they have, like, what they're currently doing, like, preparing to defend for, like, most of them. So you know who's going to stand there and who's going to actually advance for preparing to attack people. Oh yeah, you can even keep track of the bases too. I'm not going to go through the bases for every map. Now this may be the last uh, game that also has the overview. Alright, and every stage has uh, like three targets. Just stuff you want to try to accomplish. Uh, a couple of these targets, I believe, unlock characters, but uh, all the ones that unlock characters I've done. See, that's just taking the watch post. That's opening either of Hulao Gate. Hulao Gate's gates. <laughs> and then the last one's to defeat Lubu, which, yes, I saw a lot of people telling me to fight Lubu. And yeah, I can beat him easy. Now, let's see. Lightning. Excellent. Level 5 horse with lightning. Uh, oh, and its skills uh, are pretty good. We have Arrow Dance, which repels arrows while running. Always nice to have. And the best one, Rinbu Gate. Your Rinbu Gauge doesn't decrease over time while on a horse. That is vital. Uh, all these others are just kind of whatever. The oh, right. I forgot Dust Warrior sits as a skill tree. Uh, I guess you upgrade this after battle or something. Completely forgot that was a thing. Right, and the weapons are sort of, uh, randomized. You have your strength weapon, which are slower, but have bigger reach. 
Uh, you have standard, which is standard. You have skill weapons, which uh, are fastest, but they have the least amount of reach. Like I had an ice weapon with airwave, true muso, and berserk. Berserk uh, may cost me here. Let's see what else do I have? Mystic seal is a good one that just weapon elements do more. Best one is there it is flash. May instantly defeat weaker opponents and inflict heavy damage on enemy officers. Yeah, that is. I'm gonna equip that. <laughs> it's just flat out the best. See flash on a weapon, you generally want to use that weapon. Don't cheese to fight with Lubu. Uh, I'm annoyed you said that. I was absolutely going to. Did you ever get Hit Smart, Shadowrunner, or Red Hair? Uh, no. I've never gotten them because it's all randomized. Without, like, internal clock manipulation. Right, so this game basically completely changed how, uh, well, the whole game plays. You're still basically pressing square and stuff, but, like, you see the gauge on the left. That's the Shaoyun's face. How it says one, that's where his Rimbu is at one right now. So, like, this is what a square string does, and then it repeats. Barely an attack string. Same thing happens for his triangle attacks. There are no, like charge 2 or charge 3, it's just you have a triangle chain and a square chain. That gauge will decrease over time or if you get hit. But hey, this is a new item of the game that instantly matches out your Rimbu. So now we can see, like, it's full moveset. That's how many more attacks you get when you have your match Rimbu, which is an infinite symbol. That's his full triangle. That's, uh, it's kind of it for the basic moveset. Oh, hello. Barotechnic with another $10. Uh, got back into Wars Archie 3, and it's still as great as I remember. Also, Shahadun is an absolute chad. <laughs> Man is built different. <laughs> he is awesome, yes. <laughs> Even Pyro wishes for Shahadun. Damn it! <laughs> I'm already doing this. It's Shahadun first, alright? I'll, I'll do Shahadun second. See, there are a few other attacks you have available. Uh, the dash attack. You can actually do a triangle dash attack now. Uh, let's see, you can dodge roll, which is nice, I do like that. Uh, there's also some grab attacks, but I need some enemies to show those off. Oh, and you can jump with their horse with, uh, right, R1. Which is also the roll button. Right, when you jump on a base from up high, you cause a surprise attack, and that, like, makes the soldiers cower in fear. They get, like, a debuff. They also drop at straight EXP, speed. Which is nice. At least it's nice until you hit max level, then you don't care. Show off that blocking instantly stops your combo. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can stop a combo pretty quickly. Uh, I believe you can also just roll out of it at any point. Yeah. You can react very fast, which is nice. Uh, no. I need out of here, game. Let's see. I can do a grab attack. Or Guan Yu would just kill him. Alright, asshole. Alright, let's go somewhere without allies. Alright, gates have a, uh, or bases have a gate you have to, like, smash through now. Come on, do it. There we go. That's the L1 square grab. 
That's L1 triangle. L1 triangle is unblockable. The square grab can be blocked. And yeah, if you head to like the center of a base, you'll start like a duel. You'll see the soldiers like gather around. The enemy officers you fight will be way stronger. It's honestly not worth it to do at all. Liru set the freaking base on fire. And the Muso essentially does your tier 1 to 3 Rimbu and then ends with a unique Muso attack. Uh, I think that's everything. Right, well, there's the jump attacks, which are pretty basic. Uh, all right, there are some special attacks, like how Liru set fire to the uh, to the base. That was a strategist one. But you need an item to do that, and I currently don't have it. The game feels nice to play, but has such an unfinished feel to it with the Rimbu. Yeah, the Rimbu thing is really restricting. It's not so bad for me right now because I have the horse that keeps my Rimbu from going low, and I also haven't been hit yet. I do think the stage design is pretty good, though. And clearly the Warriors franchise thinks so as well, because they reused most of these stages in Dynasty Warriors 7. Show off the parry attacks. They're not much attacks, honestly. Like... Well, they just broke through it. Yeah, that was a square parry. That was a triangle parry. Yeah, you have two different parries. I'm not sure why you wouldn't always do a triangle parry instead of a square parry. They both seem pretty fast. And they want to attack since I've taken the base and they're set to retreat now. I think that's where it sits as the most, like, uh, peon animations in the game. Like, they have charge attacks you saw them do earlier. You can, like, break through your guard and stuff. They have jumping attacks they can do. They'll cower and react to other things you do. Ah, I was hoping I could win that. We've gotten really bad at landing deadlocks. There is actually unique deadlock finishers for every character. But playing in harder difficulties, it's going to be harder to fully win the deadlock and see them all. Oh, right. Uh, if you hold triangle, you'll do a different attack as well. Which uh, upgrades slightly if you have Matt's Rimbu. Like, because I have Matt's Rimbu, it creates a shockwave when he does that attack. Oh, uh, let me know if the audio needs to be adjusted any. I've had a lot of trouble getting PS3 audio to work as intended. And horse moveset is pretty basic. You all basically attack like Samurai Warriors characters now, because apparently they realized attacking to one side makes it better. Alright, I'll try the special thing since I have it. Yeah, for Zhao Yun, he has true speed I believe, which lets him run really fast, and you can spam a square attack or a triangle attack. This is probably the least effective, honestly. And now we're doing another duel. Uh, I don't care for lieutenants, though. They're very boring to fight. Like, at least let me fight someone with a name. And sometimes a duel will just end. If you beat someone in a duel, I believe you get more EXP from it. But you can also get more ESP from people from, like, defeating them with the grab attacks. But if you want ESP from, like, officers, just kill them with that. I 
show how soon Chain Chain's deadlock. Well, that's gonna have to wait until their stream. See if I already failed that one target. Probably have. Uh, no, I haven't yet. However, I only have a minute to take these last two bases, so that's probably not going to happen. All right, fuck you, game. Yes. Your deeds will go down in legend. Oh, yeah. Cat did mention that. If you go inside of, uh, like, the ring on your ally's side, and you have an allied officer, like, during a duel, then, uh... One of your allied officers will actually get out and fight. So you can be one of the spectators. There's not much point to do that, because at that point you're not playing the game anymore. But it's neat. The watch posts are the most annoying to take, because you need to defeat a certain number of troops before you can take over a base. And there are so few bowmen inside these watchtowers. Even with only 15, you need to kill. It can still take a while. Meanwhile, the main forces are already attacking through Loud Gate. I'm not going to bother getting that second watchtower. You know about true speed on horseback? Uh, yeah, I believe it makes you go faster on horseback. I think that's about all it does. I don't believe your attacks change at all. Let's see. Right, only one interim save, because I'm playing on hard. Well, let's make it count. Louis about to show up. I think you need to open one of the gates for Louis to actually show up. Uh, the sieging aspect of this game is only available in a few stages, but it's pretty cool. Like, this side doesn't really have anything set up, but if you defeat all these defense captains, you'll, yeah, secure sites for, like, building catapults and other stuff. Yeah, we won for building a ram now. So now, like, you'll see engineers working on stuff, like this guy's carrying off a ladder, so you'll use it to be able to, like, scale the walls manually. You don't have to wait. For the catapult, or for the ram to be made and then destroy the gate. And yeah, if you want to actually get the ram built and survive long enough to bust open the gate, you want to get up here. Of course, you usually have some rock throwers up top. And the ladder can be destroyed. Yeah. You can sort of tell when an attack from a rock thrower is coming because you'll see, like, pebbles. Like, around your character. And you can't actually block when you're on the ladder, somehow. Just hold the block button. Man, if you could do that in Dark Souls. And yeah, just going up the ladder, my Rimbo went down, so I'm losing some of my attacks now. Those rock throwers are some of the worst. Yeah, it is actually cool how Yuan Chao will, uh, move up when the battle, like, gets taken to Hulao Gate itself. Because, yeah, there's no reason for him to hang back, like, a mile behind and not do anything. I believe they're more conscious about, like, the, uh, the commanders and other forces not really doing anything on the map for this game. So they have them move around a lot more compared to most. That or it's just this one stage. <laughs> now that I've taken over or defeated the Blisses on this side, should be able to make rams on the right side. Or the uh, southern side. 
And all the blisses up here got taken out too. Of course, you could also ignore all that and just go after Dawn Troll yourself. You don't necessarily need to open the gate. There's nothing to stop you from doing that. What is the call horse button? Not select. Okay, it was one of the D-pad buttons. I think it was down. Wait, why is that ram not attacking? Oh, it hasn't been built yet. Yeah, that would do it. Oh yeah, and if you'll notice, like, some of Dondro's officers are actually, like, leaving Hulao Gate to go and, like, keep the event to keep the defenses up. Wang Yun fighting for Dondro. That's weird to see. This side apparently did better. Their ram is already going. And I like how it's like just four dudes. Like inside of it. Pushing it manually. It's not just a magically controlled ram. It's not starting to let shut up. <laughs> have they played you on chat before? I have, yes. I'm probably not going to for any of these streams though. Lubu and his wicked sideburns. What? None can hold their own against Lubu? I do like how, like, people on horses will actually get off to fight you now, like Lubu got off of red hair. Trying to hit him with the horse. Yeah. See how much damage hitting him with the horse dealt? Just keep doing that over and over again. That is how you cheese, Lubu. I don't believe they can charge Muso and, like, heal themselves. Yeah, horses are pretty broken in this. This is on hard, and I'm doing that. Now that my horse has done most of the work. Ouch. God. <laughs> hey, luckily Flash triggered. See, totally fault him fair. Thanks, Yuan Chao. I deserve that. <laughs> you get a ton of ESP from that. I think defeating Lubu is like the biggest like target objective in the game for like ESP. The people complaining about how I fought Lubu. I will play this stage so many times. I will have plenty of times to fight him. Just did that because it'd be funny. You miss the games being dubbed? So do I. It made them so much more enjoyable. I guess technically the Dynasty Warriors 1 still are, since Dynasty Warriors 9 was dubbed. They just dubbed poorly by a team that really didn't know what they were doing. Oh yeah, Don Droz had a redesign. He, uh... Yeah. <laughs> he is far more fatter and uglier. Look at that! Yeah, he missed his old appearance. Looked way better.
he activated his special attack, so now it's really hard to stun him. But Amuso kind of goes past that. Tom Joel's wife is just like, he's still sexy as ever. <laughs> Insert fat joke here. What is this, Warriors Archie? Yeah, I got three skill points. What do I put them into? When you're leveling up a character, you definitely want to go to the, uh, the Rimbu upgrades first. Let's see. There are some special skills. Let's see. Yeah, green ones increase your, uh, or improve your special attack. True speed is what his is called. That just makes it hit harder. That makes it last longer. And there are some, just, like, generic buffs, like improve effective recovery items. Muso increases faster, stuff like that. And some regular, just, stat buffs. Attack ones are generally what you want. Or just the bigger ones in general. Big ones are 20 points, small ones are 5 points. Oh, and there's some all buffs, like this one over here. None of these weapons are going to be that great since it's an early stage. I didn't even look at that horse. Uh, no skills. Eyes gaze into the distance and he has a superior physique. Uh, the horse's description, sort of like, it's supposed to let you know how good they are, except I don't remember which ones are the best one. They're all kind of vague sounding. This one says, his eyes view the world in clarity, his eyes gaze into the distance. I guess a clarity one is better. His eyes consider the world and his physique harbors untold power. It's, it's all extremely vague. You'd really have to look out to figure out which ones are the best ones, so you know what to look out for. But I have a good enough horse, so... Riders the enemy feared most. It was the White Rider. Xiao Yun, you fought almost as well as I did out there. I want you around. You've got a big future with you. Right. I'll be due some honors for this fight, that's for certain. This country needs more men like me. Let us defeat that traitor Dong Zhuo and bring peace back to our land. Master Gong Sun Zhang. Physical strength will not bring back peace to our land. It is something else. Lord, forgive me. I seek something greater than strength. I find that I must leave your side for a time. What? Where are you going, Xiao Yun? To search for what I seek. I ask that you forgive my breach of duty. And I know where to start. Liu Bei, there is more to that man than meets the eye. Just abandons Gung Sun Zan. And we don't even go over to the time he worked with, uh... He worked under Yuan Chao. Is that only acknowledged in Dynasty Warriors 5? It might be. Dong Zhuo was brought down thanks to the efforts of the governors, who then turned around and began eyeing the throne for themselves. Among them, Cao Cao, who had managed to serve as regent to the emperor, increased his power in the north and went on to establish a firm base in the central plains after defeating Yuan Zhao. Meanwhile, Zhao Yun left Gong Sun Zan and went to visit Liu Bei, who was being pursued by Cao Cao's massive army. He saw that Liu Bei's intentions were noble and felt that he had finally found his place. To protect that future, Zhao Yun made haste to Changban. First Changban stage, we're going to be seeing this a lot. We're going to be seeing a lot of these stages a lot. Forgive me, Zhao Yun. I don't like telling a good warrior to go. Your offer must be declined. Alas. I don't know whether we'll escape or not. We are outnumbered by Cao Cao's forces. I cannot ask you to join a rout. Light must be brought back to the land. You talked about peace in the land. I think you can accomplish this. You'll need other men's aid to do it. I have come here to offer help. Today we need strength, so I wield my spear. We shall drive away the darkness. 
We will ride into war together. Come, follow me. I will say all the cutscenes are definitely a step up from Dynasty Warriors 5. There's quite a few of them for the characters that have them. But, like, for base Dynasty Warriors 6, like, only five characters of... Yeah, five characters of each force have story modes. And Lugu and Diao Chan for others. And there are six more that are added with Dynasty Warriors 6 Special. Which uh, I will play once I'm done with the PS3 version. See the targets are 300 KOs. At least two groups of refugees make it to the docks, or all refugees make it to the docks. Eh, we don't really need to protect them. Overview basically just tells us what the narrator already said. Ah, I lose if the refugees are wiped out. Okay, so at least one has to live. Yeah, it is weird the PS2 version has more characters. Or more characters with story modes and movesets. And they didn't make DLC for this one. This is a bit before DLC was really a thing. And with one Rimbo, you can only swing your spring weapon three times with the square attack. That sucks. Oh yeah, this is also the first uh, Dynasty Warriors game with uh, camera control. Like, Samurai Warriors 2 and Warriors Archie 1 and 2 had it, but first Dynasty Warriors game that had it. At least standard camera control with the analog stick, so you can do whatever. Eh, there's a peasant down there, but he's so far down there. Forget him. Yeah, I got really lucky in the first stage when uh, that Matt's Rimbu item dropped for me. Now I have to build it up manually. So I kind of need to, like, attack peasants and stuff. Overkill at least has a purpose in that you, uh... You keep smacking dead enemies, you can get your Rimbu up a little bit higher. It's, uh... It is a bit easier than I thought it would be. I might change this up to Master for whenever I play a different character. I don't actually think you can change difficulties mid-story mode. So I think we're stuck on hard. I guess we'll help the guys on the right, considering it's going to take Liu Bei forever to get further anyways. Oh yeah, and the game does spawn, like, small groups of enemies, like, uh, the groups with the flags, like, on your way to bases. So that does sort of help keep your Rindu up. You know, if you didn't have a horse, it did it for you. Yeah, for bases, if you defeat, like, one regular enemy, the number goes down by one. If you defeat corporals, the number goes down by 20. And if you defeat guard captains, you take over the base. But I believe guard captains only appear when, uh, there's, like, 20 or 40 enemies left in the base. Uh, it is a bit annoying that your horse will buck. 
you hit too many enemies with it. I do like Zhao Yun's uh, triangle attack. Just spreads the enemy's leads and then smacks them away. His grab triangle attack, I should say. <laughs> Skip this stage, if I could. Oh, they're sure taking their sweet time. Hello, Zhang Fei. I don't think there's very much, like, in stage dialogue. Like, unique dialogue. Oh hey, it's Sai Mao. Be a shame if something terrible happened to him. Man, how disrespectful would it be if he got beat by Liu Bei? That'd be pretty terrible, right? Ah, would you look at that. It's always annoying when you kill an officer with a grab attack and they drop a weapon. Because you don't get extra ESP from that. Yeah, the immense amount of ESP you can get are those gold pots of, uh, gold. <laughs> That's where sit submits the Gushan. Uh, it might for the actual stage. I think we see it in the cutscene following it. Okay, there's a guard captain. So it appears before 30. Or at least before 20. Someone asking who voices Liu Bei. I cannot for the life of me remember. I think his first name is Dave. Oh yeah, uh, in Forest, you actually fight wolves. Like, they just come out and attack you. And freaking maul you. I think you can build up Rimbu on them. Takes forever, though. Yep, went up by one. Rimbu goes up more the more enemies you get. And, uh, animals cannot be killed. You can just smack them and they run off. I guess he didn't want to show animal death. Though I think in later games, you will just beat them and they'll, like, disappear. You won't actually see them run off.
Dave B. Mitchell. Yeah, that's that's him. He's he's had a lot of good rolls. He's pretty good. I don't know what this purple buff I have is. Was that infinite Muso? May have done. It went away really quick. I didn't even realize I picked up the item for it. Oh, I think this is a full heal. Yeah, full heals are really good in this game. Because it also fully restores your Imbu. And Sao Sao just fucking charging. Completely ignored me. Does not give a fuck about Zhao Yun. He knows what he's after. Oh yeah, they have lines for if you approach them alone. Oh yeah, enemies also block from behind now. I mean, so do you. Like, block is just a 360 block now. I guess it also means you can parry from any angle. And Liu Bei got away. This escape is a victory for us. Well done, every dragon. <laughs> the chat. Speed is of the essence. Follow me. Appropriate. He says that so often in Dynasty Warriors 5. Sounds all does. and fight I will advance my lord's cause okay so yeah <laughs> Liu Shan is completely forgotten <laughs> and that's where it sits Jing Bon <laughs> I like to imagine they just left him behind in this timeline uh let's see uh Captain said something about like the skill tree like made an image of something that related to characters like Shahadun got an eye patch uh, I'm not sure I see it. This is like, just looks like lines to me. <laughs> Guess I'll go for stats. Someone in the chat said, like, which, uh, horse descriptions means it's the best one or not, but I've already forgotten it. If it's not red hair, I'm not gonna stop for it. Thanks to Zhao Yun and 
his other brave warriors, Liu Bei was able to escape certain death. His army, now joined with that of Sun Quan, Liu Bei forced Cao Cao's navy to retreat. Afterwards, he parted ways with Sun Quan and subdued Jing province while immediately setting his sights on Yi province to the west. Yi was a fertile land protected from the elements, a perfect base for Liu Bei in his quest to rival Cao Cao and Sun Quan for power. But the ruler of Yi was another member of Liu Bei's own family, Liu Zhang. Liu Bei agonized over the act of turning against his own kin to further his goal. Zhao Yun. My lord, I know that you feel conflicted regarding it, how we can attack Chengdu. It must fall. I understand that in my heart and mind. Your vision requires it so. Visions? Dreams? Zhao Yun, are they illusions? After I take Chengdu and cause pain to Master Liu Zhang, can I ever be the same man I am today? Or will my heart be filled with clouds and confusion like those that haunt the land? I think you'll remain you. Being a leader is hard and difficult. My lord, you must believe in yourself as we believe in you. Oh yeah, we got Shang Cheng on our side for this stage. I do like that they have her actually do stuff for Shu. What are the targets? Take two bases. Break through all the gates. Don't let Peng Tong die. Well, I am starting right now, so I guess it's a good save on this run. I like how the music was timed with the opening cutscene bit. Bain Tong, please. You're making me want to kill you. Oh yeah, Bain Tong talks like Dynasty Warriors 5 Simi Yi in this game. I have no idea why. It's the same voice actor. Maybe no one told him he was voicing Bain Tong and he thought he was Simi Yi. Oh no, an ambush. Yeah, if you couldn't tell by the very small amount of officers, or enemy officers on the screen at the start of the stage, there are going to be a lot of ambushes. Yeah, Pain Tong is like full on moth in this game with his outfit. Man, it really sucks you lose so much of Rimbo from one attack. It is very punishing. I believe the PS2 version is more forgiving. Oh yeah, I think guard captains always, or at least often, drop a tome. The item you need to use your special attack. The best special attack is probably just the generic warrior one. Or it just makes it where you don't flinch and you hit harder. That or the fire one. The fire is definitely better for getting you at speed. Are you lost? 
You didn't really think you could pass so easily through a road like this. I work for a greater purpose. It is a purpose that even I will risk my life for. He's incredibly lucky none of those arrows hit him. Like, he was just sitting there in the middle of them. I do like how Zhang Ren activates Rock Slide, because, uh... That special ability is way more effective when you're on a slope, and that's where they positioned him. Yeah, I am way too high-leveled for this. <laughs> I should've played on Master. I know for next time, now. Oh yeah, and in Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires, they throw out Rimbu entirely. They realized everyone hated it. Now your moveset is just tied to your weapon upgrades. People would have complained about this game a lot less if it was just like that from the start. Paintong will probably be safe in his own now. That one ambush was really all he had to worry about. Watchtower suck. course two right next to each other. At least if I stay on horseback, my Rimbu will only go up. And since my horse has an ability that repels arrows, these guys can't do a damn thing to me. Yeah, these tiny gates, like, don't have much, uh, troop numbers. But you're meant to approach them from the other side and have to bust through the gate, so they're meant to slow you down. But since I'm coming from behind, it's not exactly happening. Now I'm triggering all the ambushes. Luckily, one of those full Rimbu items dropped. Yay. I just hope I don't lose it. But yeah, your attack speed also goes up the higher your Rimbu is. I think your range also increases. Ah, uh, yeah, the purple buff is Matt Smuso. <laughs> Running at full speed and then just a rock flattens me. You know what? Sometimes trying to get kills with true speed just doesn't work. So what you can do is activate it, and the buff will still be active even if you're not, you know, running. So you can use a Muso or some other attack, and still get, like, the benefits from defeating officers, and getting extra EXP from all those officer kills. And I like how Pain Tong is riding Hetzmark for this stage. You will carry our honor across the land. Like, wasn't that part of, like, history or some such, where he rode Liu Bei's horse? 
Am I going to screen dance for six empires? Uh, I don't know. I'm really not a fan of the Empires games in general. Samurai Warriors 2 Empires was sort of the exception. Because that had some fun, unique stuff in it. And even then, I only did one playthrough of it. Maybe. I might go back and do 4 and 5 first. The generic says when no enemies are near him. I'll have to work a bit harder to keep up. I have come to fight those who forget honor and duty. Master Liu Zhang, there is no longer need to work. <laughs> Fucking boulder guys. Oh, I guess there was someone up here for him to fight. Oh, that was annoying. I do like the animation Zhao Yun has for his Muso. Macho is great in Dynasty Warrior 6, but uh, not until we get to Dynasty Warrior 6 Special, where he actually has a Musou mode. He barely does anything in base Dynasty Warrior 6. Oh yeah, what did we just see happen? Uyi has separated from Liu Zhang's unit. Yeah, uh, some lieutenants can, like, break off from the officer they're under and, like, become officers on the map themselves, so they can actually go off and do stuff, try to take over areas. I like that, it makes the battlefield more organic. But, like, suddenly you can have a new enemy to fight, but, like, it's not all bad because it also means you decrease the defenses they have at their main camp. Or wherever that guy's defending. See if Xiao Yun has any lines with Ma Chao. Nope. I'm curious if Ma Chao keeps that uh, spear line in Dynasty Warrior Sit special. You know, when he's using a massive fuck off greatsword. Also, Ma Chao is pretty beefy. Another thing that's annoying about the Rimbu stuff is that you have to attack for a while to get to, like, your good attacks at the end of the Rimbu thing. But, like, when there are enemies around, you'll have to dodge, like, so often. So you can really only get, like, a full combo off if there's just no one around. Virtue. Remember, it doesn't become benevolent until Dynasty Warrior 7. Still killing son of a bitch. Oh, there went Liu Zhang, or uh, Yang Yang, and Ma Liang. And Huang Zhang, wow. That arrow spam by Liu Zhang at the end, that dealt some damage. I completed the stage so fast Yang Fei hasn't even arrived. I didn't realize he came. <laughs> oh, 
Well, next time I'll play on a higher difficulty. So the stages will take longer and we'll definitely get Chindu again. Big attack buff up there, but I can reach the big defense buff immediately. And get closer to that big health buff down there. Weapons do seem to care more about uh, the stage you're playing on than the difficulty you're on. All the previous weapons I got on normal, but like, I've yet to find one that's better than what I already have equipped. Encouraged by his men, Liu Bei attacked Yi province and eventually captured its capital of Chengdu. With this strategic development, the land entered the age of the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu. At the urging of Zhu Genyang, Liu Bei advanced his troops to Hanzhong, which served as the location where his esteemed ancestor, Liu Bang, rose to become the first king of Hanzhong. The aim of this campaign was to win the hearts and minds of the common people by tying this legend to Liu Bei's own name. Hanzhong. The land where the founder of the Han lived where he first declared his intentions for the land. All of that is in the past. What will our lord and his title of king mean today? As one gets older and older, we tend to walk through the halls of memory more and more frequently. You can look at the past with great clarity, but you must also consider the current times as they occur. And so, the present day, and the past, merge and become our future. That makes sense. We link Liu Bei to the founder in the people's minds. <laughs> ah. First, you must educate people about the past. Then they will truly wonder what the future is holding. I hope the name of the king of the past will bring us a great future for this land. Yeah, Hong Zhang does look like, like a tribe leader in this. Like he showed up from Nanmon territory. Yeah, Ding Jun is probably the stage where they show off their, uh, elevated maps the most. Oh yeah, morale is getting less of a showing in this game. Like, now morale for units is just indicated by an arrow. Or a lack of an arrow. You defeat Xia Yuan, keep Huang Zhong alive, take Mount Cha Qi and Ding Jun. No one dies. Those are all pretty easy to do, naturally. The forefather of the Han, Liu Bang, rose from Hanzhong. I must do so as well. We must drive the enemy from Mount Sha Qi and claim it ourselves. From there, we can see the entire battle. I feel like Julie Young is speaking a little bit softer than he did in previous games. Hey, it's just me. And to be fair, we've only heard like two or three lines from him so far. Oh yeah, someone was saying they didn't know who Liu Ba was uh, in the last stage. I thought that too when I fought him. I don't. I think this is his first appearance in a Warriors game. I 
I do really like Zhao Yun's dash triangle attack. Very satisfying, and I like that you have a ton of control over it. Probably held that center group. The enemies are kind of surviving my combos better. Yeah, I, di I didn't realize hard may as well not exist. Like, I feel like after you play a game on normal and complete it all the way, playing on hard would be the next logical step. Not, oh, hard is so easy, I may as well have went to the next difficulty. I guess that's why this has more difficulties in the last games. It's a while to go up mountain Ding Jun. At the coil around the mountain. Your allies move pretty fast on the map when they're not fighting enemies, which is nice. And there are much less, uh, dialogue being played. Like when you encounter an enemy, you don't have to sit through, like, three or four lines every time you defeat one. Sometimes you only hear, hear like, a defeat line when you defeat an officer. Not even always a praise line. That was a massive problem in Warriors Earth 1 and 2. Especially 2. You don't get why they removed characters in this game. Uh, time constraints, I assume. The same reason everyone, or there are so many clones in this, instead of everyone being unique, and there only being like five musos per force, plus an extra two for others. Sel Chun is another character I don't, or another name I don't remember ever seeing. The draw distance is certainly better than like Warriors Orgy and other stuff. Although you're still missing a lot of textures, obviously. L look at that mountain. There's definitely a lot more over there. But hey, we get to jump down. Horse's legs ought to be broken. And that sounds like Shao Yuan's Warriors Archie 1 voice actor. I forgot he voiced him in this. I thought uh, Tony Oliver already started voicing him.
victory here would prove impossible. I knew that if I could immediately with the fire arrows. You get along, you're just so full of shit. True speed can be difficult to control. Probably a good idea to memorize where the, uh, what are they called? Ointments? I think they're called ointments. It's what those full restores are. Probably a good idea to remember where they're located on each map. Just so you can have, like, quick access to, like, a full Rimbu boost. Oh, they're called hardcore drugs in the manual. All right, fair enough then. Yeah, make sure you all remember where you can find hardcore drugs. The grabs are fun to do. You know, just like they were in Dynasty Warriors 4. And they're much better animated here. You're probably already noticing some, like, pop-in for characters when there's a bunch in one area. That's going to get way worse when we get to the PS2 version, where it just cannot handle all the things in this game. When an enemy strategist uses a fire attack in a base, it can be very annoying. Because a fire attack will, I believe, always drain you down to 50% HP. If not further. Lulu's grabs are, are pretty great in this, yeah. <laughs> like, one of them is like he just tosses someone up into the air and then, like, spins his weapon like a top. And it just, like, juggles the enemy above him. It is ridiculous to see. What a bitch. I would like to see Zhao Yun's deadlock, but uh, it's difficult to trigger manually. Almost got a thousand KOs. I could get it if I really wanted to. I don't, but I could. Okay, I guess we're dueling. 
See if I can get someone else to duel. Or if the AI won't realize I'm trying to do that. Okay. Yeah, so now we have Li Yan in the ring fighting. <laughs> and the game really can't handle it. And now the game just gave up on it. Yeah, the, the AI is not the best for the duels. It really expects to be fighting the player. That's how it's not said anything for like the duration of the stage. Well, Ma Chao has a phrase line to Zhao Yun. Interesting. I like how Ma Chao has a unique phrase line for him, but I don't think Ma Chao and Zhao Yun even speak in their Muso modes. At least we haven't spoken to him yet. Uh, no, no characters got turned into generics. They were just cut out right. Like, Zhang Wei and Peng Dei just don't appear. Even in battles that they really should be in. See, I guess I'll start working towards this attack up plus 20. Oh yeah, such a monster that Liu Bei. Oh, there it is. He still will have his revenge? Yes. I always knew Master Guan Yu held a special place in our Lord's heart. I know. Though we oppose Wu in our fight, a battle fought merely for revenge does not have honor. I suppose. But one might also say that within his heart, He's constant as a star. Hmm. You're right. When it comes to his friends, above all else, he is loyal. And that supersedes all of the dogma. There's the proof right there. Even in his position, he risks his life for a friend. He sacrifices for his brothers, as he does for the land and its people. Yes. He brings hope to the land. It is our duty to protect him and that hope. Watch out, it's a bit of a different tune for his actual story when we get around to it. I like how Big Smoke, like, tagged me to tell me which characters weren't in the game as if I don't already know. And you forgot some anyways. Like, so let's see. But 
for the targets for this. At least six of you units survive for ten minutes. Man, that, that really implies the battle's gonna go to shit. <laughs> if you're just trying to keep six guys alive for just ten minutes. Stone Sentinel's Maze does not go down. Beat all enemy units in 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot I needed to press X. I just thought it was loading. <laughs> Do not kill me, Fang, or Ding Fang. Uh, no promises. You just like people with the name Fang? Or Fing? Or both? Z isn't relevant for most battles, though. Neither is Xiao Kiao, but she's still in. <laughs> I think she appears on, like, one stage in this game. In its entirety. And weirdly, she has a unique moveset. Don't know why they decided to give her a unique one, and not give her a booster mode. They didn't even do that for a special, when they had a good opportunity to. I think it's taking these bases that causes uh, the fire attack to trigger. Basically, it's speediating it here. Probably not ideal. You probably want the fire attack to take as long as possible to actually trigger. Oh, Xiao Kao appears in three stages? I only remember her at Chi Ting. Modest as ever, Zheng Fei. You're right, you should have. It's what they're known for. Sorry to keep you now step back and let me ah, I got Ning in his terrible new voice, which we are now stuck with. Like, the guy voicing Gan Ning from like Dance Warrior 6 to 8 is, uh, I think his name is Michael St Stinker Nicholas or something like that. Uh, he does good in other roles. Like, I think he does great for Taigan Wong. And he does good for Sasuke Saratobi in Tengoku Basara. I think he does terrible for Gan Ning. And not great for Zhou Yu. No, Sun Quan is not Archie in disguise just yet. He still has his old voice actor. He doesn't get uh, Gideon Emery until... That's where we're seven. Go ahead and go deal with Gan Ning over here.
There we go. Yeah, his deadlock is pretty cool. Just grab someone with his feet and then uses their body to swing around with a sword. I believe he's done that in opening cinematics. So it's nice to like see that in gameplay. Ah oh, man, if I play on master difficulty, there's no way I'm winning these deadlocks though. So I'm not going to see any deadlock attacks for any character. And that, that'll be a shame. Hello. It's great to find while you're using your Muso. Ganning is way more tanky than he ought to be. He survived a Muso for like fucking 30 seconds at least. Alright, maybe I should be fine now. Kind of forgot he was over here, honestly. The situation is dire. Liu Bei, you just gonna sit here in the fire? Okay. Actually, there's some guys up north. I should probably go and deal with them. I could just Zerg rush this stage and like take out Soon Quine right away. I can only just barely win deadlots on hard difficulty. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it doesn't increase that much. Maybe I'm overestimating it. all rushing into the stone sentinel maze. Uh, I guess that means I have to go in to fight them. We must rouse ourselves for this fight. So we'll enter it from the side just so I'm closer to that bunch on the left over there. I'm not sure I've ever had the Stone Sentinel Maze, like, fall when I was playing as Shu. Like, you have to deliberately ignore it for that to actually happen. Oh yeah, Ling Tong has switched voice actors now. He's now voiced by the guy that plays through Shi, more than you do. the map. Okay, start two. I even actually use the stone sentinel maze myself. But uh, the stone sentinel maze like appears to heal allied officers. Doesn't seem to do anything for you. Somewhat, kind of been stomping through this story. Oh, 
Oh, Lushun died. Yeah, I guess this is the last battle we had to fight Wu, so yeah, deaths all around. And after Warrior's Orgy, I'm not used to death. Masu, shouldn't you be dead by now? Though I guess I could say the same for Jank Fei. Maybe his battle is later than I thought. I'm glad that Musos can break enemies' guards. It takes a few hits, but it'll do it. Someone said to save Masu. Well, your wish was granted. Someone said to ditch Masu. Well, fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, Jiating, that was his battle. Must have happened later than I'm recalling. Or Yi Ling is earlier than I'm recalling. Is that another actual officer? Oh, it was. Thought you were a lieutenant. Oh yeah, there's the uh, Bannerman generics. Uh, like, if you fight with them, like for ally ones, they'll occasionally like raise up their banners and just apply a buff, like right there. That Bannerman buffed that random peon with times two attack. Very rarely do they ever apply anything to you. Your ally ones will normally just pick like a random peon out of the crowd. Same goes for enemy ones. They'll buff peons more often than not. How many people do you normally trip over, Jangfei? Nice of Joe Tai to stay behind. I think this is the only game he doesn't have his katana. He just has a standard ass sword. Like, it is kind of unique looking, but it's still just basic sword moveset. Very boring. You would set it on fire, wouldn't you? This is your own main camp! Liu Bei, you really shouldn't be saying that around Jia Liang. You wanna get off your horse soon, Quan? There you go. Another has fallen to my spear. Think 
victory is ours. Guan Yu, are you watching? I wield my spear in the name of justice. There's so many titles in this game. Like, that level I just got for Zhao Yun made him a crane general. Or whatever that's worth. Not sure if those titles are actually based off of anything or not. entire time or did I just overestimate my own ability I cared for the people and because of it they all risked their lives and what was it all worth so many are dead so will you now quit your chosen path of course it is for you to decide I lay down my spear at your feet my lord if within your heart you still care, then your duty is to fight for the people. You must move beyond this battle. Find a path through your sorrow. For as long as my lord moves forward, I, Zhao Yun, will continue to open the path with my spear. Yes, Zhao Yun. Yes. Thank you. I guess Zhao Yun is all Liu Bei needed to recover from his depression. Burning to avenge Guan Yu, Liu Bei's anger scorched the heavens, and Wu fell to him at Yi Lei. As a result, the world came to be divided between only Cao Cao and himself. But the disparity between them was massive, and it was clear to all that Liu Bei was at a significant disadvantage. Liu Bei did not hesitate against such overwhelming odds and advanced his army to Hanzhong. He was determined to defeat Cao Cao on the hallowed grounds of his ancestors and bring about a new age of peace. Zhao Yun felt inspired by the sense of determination that Liu Bei possessed. As we face this battle today, I have no doubt we will win. I've discovered how weak I am, but I have found a vision that will not fade away. And here, you have all gathered to support me, despite knowing of this weakness. My lord. Ah, I am truly blessed by your faith. I swear to you this. My own life is not as important as this vision of mine. Let us go. My lord, let this battle be a beacon to all. Our vision will shine across the land. <laughs> I like how in the Zhao Yun screen, everyone's talking about Xiao Dun more. Hey, Zhang Fei is here. I guess he did survive the last battle, so... Target sword to take two forts, defeat Sim Yi, Zheng He, and Sao Pi in 15 minutes, and defeat all enemy mutes in 30 minutes. That's that's basically guaranteed. You are not going to take 30 minutes on a stage. Certain to have laid tracks. You must keep an eye on the enemy in advance. 
advance with caution. Rush the enemy's camp from the southeastern cliff. Elevated land gives you the advantage. Use it. Elliot Bears in me. Nice. The enemy is on the cliff. Talking a bit too low in this game, but oh well. Those are really young, really. Honestly, it's a pretty basic thing to do. Using your defensive terrain to your advantage? Yeah, that, that sounds like Strategist 101. And annoyingly, it forces me to turn straight back around to the main camp. I do wish I remembered where all the ointments were on this map. Excuse me, hard drugs. Or really, the whole game. So I could find one, break it, then get it immediately. Get Matt to remove immediately. Building it up is definitely the most annoying part about this game. Which it sucks you can't write that off as like, ah, this is a minor annoyance for one thing, because it's literally every stage you have to deal with it. You as well. Having such a weak husband must leave you unfortunately to imagine. There is none who can compare with my lord's wisdom and integrity. Not that you and your lord would know what that is. Cat fight. I like how that both of both of them. Oh yeah, Jinji changed voice actresses too. Now voiced by Wendy Lee. Who I guess is trying to voice every female Warriors character at this point. At different points in the series' timeline. Well, it's not really a timeline. Well, at different points throughout the series' releases. He's voiced different characters. I believe she's voiced both the Kiao's, Ching Sai, Jin Ji, who else? Luigi's another one. Although that's Samurai Warriors. Oh, Catherine's going to upload a video for all the hardcore drug locations, but it'll be unedited and not timestamped. Great. Oh, hey, there's one. And that's right at the start, too. You get that immediately. Ina and Sarah Warriors one, yeah. Uh, Aristocrat says he'll timestamp it in the comment section. Catherine will probably just delete it. <laughs> it has come time. Do it. I kind of forgot that ambush, like, blocks off this path. See me forcing me to go around the long way. Oh, 
take it back. <laughs> Liu Bei's advancing himself. Uh, no, Wu Jing playing is not after this. This is the final stage. Everyone has six stages. And sometimes Han Zhang is the final one. Instead of Wu Jing planes. Honestly, kind of forgot this stage was in the game until I was playing it. I thought we were going to have Wu Jing planes at the end. Get it, please. Get the ESP. There we go. Come on. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. What was the target base? Was it this one in front of me here? No, it's one that's already taken. Yeah, I guess I'll take the watchtower I'm right next to it. And you have to really go out of your way to get up here. It's sort of hard to notice, but watchtowers will actually, uh, sort of help out when you're, uh, attacking another base, because, like, they'll shoot, like, a rain of arrows that will come down on any nearby bases. So, like, their arrows will probably hit that base in the center there. Oh, yeah, and the number counts to take over a base doesn't count, like, uh, random troops that walk in, like, none of these guys would have counted. That's why it was only going down when I specifically defeated archers. My lord, an enemy force has appeared behind us. Our rear flank is vulnerable to attack. Another ambush. Yu Yi was trying to set this base on fire. to collect all the gold. I guess it's not all gold. I guess only the big ones are gold. Like, that looks like bronze or copper. I am surprised Yu Ying has held on for as long as she has. He's fighting tooth and nail over there. At this point, I'd feel bad if I didn't go to help her. Best CBE design? Uh, I like a lot of them, honestly. I'm really trying to think. Dance Warriors 4 is really good. Dance Warriors 6 is good. Dance Warriors 8 is good too. One of those three. There. <laughs> but for, for now, I'll say Dance Warriors 4. If you ask me on a different day, I'll probably give you a di different answer. Well, Disaster Warriors 5's design is fairly simple. I do actually like it as well. Like, whenever I put them in that in, like, Disaster Warriors 7 or 8, I actually think it looks really good without your updated graphics. Do I lose if the main camp is taken over? Nope, it's just a Fleet of Bay withdrawal, so all those guys attacking in the back there? Doesn't matter.
Because Liu Bei is long since fucked off. Some special dialogue. Will only by death dead. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. Yeah, I think that was like his entire campaign. And the only special dialogue, like during a stage, was when you're entering the main camp of the final stage. And Xu Kiao really looks like he wants to be Xiao Kiao. The name is so similar. Of how you go to save Zhuge Liang and it's like, oh, it was all an act. I just want to get the grab on him. Lieutenant needed to fuck off. Yeah, the enemies can use grabs too. They don't do it that often, but they can. Well, alright, I guess that's appropriate too. I swear when you try to land the grab, it's just not gonna happen. I do like that you can start your, like, the final Muso attack immediately as you let off the, uh, the circle button, and you'll retain all the Muso at that point. It doesn't keep draining your Muso while it's doing that final attack. So if you wanted to be, like, extra cautious with your Muso, you could just tap circle to use Musos and never have to fill it up all the way. Son of a bitch dodged it. <laughs> and that's how Cao Cao died. It's such a disrespectful, like, final attack. You just, like, flick their body away. Just enough skill points to get that last big attack up. And now I will never play Xiao Yun again. Uh, yeah, I finally started to get better weapons. But I only picked up one weapon that stage. Oh well. Probably because I didn't bother to defeat like the last group of enemies. Because who cares? Literally, we're not a threat. Making me commander? My lord, there are many men here who are much more worthy than I am. Those that you deem more worthy have all recommended you to lead. I find that I agree. I believe that you are the most worthy to be commander over all the forces of this land. I hope to create a world where weapons and armies are no longer needed. I regret that it is not yet that time. Strength is required to keep the peace. Zhao Yun, please take this position in loyalty to me. 
use your spear to protect this land. I will, my lord. I give you my word. I will serve the land as you command me, lord. My spear is yours. Xiao Yun will risk his life to protect the land. Have a little overview here. A Three Kingdoms warrior. That's That sounds pretty standard. <laughs> that could apply for literally everyone, even a peon. Okay, that was 4,510. Sounds impressive. <laughs> the credit song in this is kind of chill. I actually really like this. <laughs> And then Liu Bei and Zhao Yun died, and Liu Shan brought ruin to the land. The end. Everyone's saying to play, <laughs> play Shadow Dune. I'll stream his story next, Jesus. Now, I'm not gonna keep up the stream because, uh, like, two hours is sort of like my normal. The, uh, the seven-hour stream I did for Metal Gear Rising, that was... That was not an everyday thing for me. Will we be hearing this every time? I'm not gonna play the whole credits every single time, no. I'm just doing this because it's, you know, the first one. I don't really like the motions the song goes through. They're making good use of all the instruments they have available. I like how voice group got credited at the very bottom there. That's the that's the English dubbing group that did this. Shut the fuck up, Spooner. <laughs> Stream is over, yes. No, I'm not streaming Shadow Dune right now. <laughs> I have other stuff to do today. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try and stream it tomorrow. Normally I like to, like, at least wait a day so that the other stream gets, like, more views and stuff, but just everyone asking for it so damn much. Oh, hey, the opening cutscene is starting to play. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play this. Because there's no option to play it from the menu. <laughs> so I'll let this play out. I meant to play it at the beginning of the stream. But neither in the options or the camp were there any option to play this just on demand. Running on water. What a badass. How strong is Xiao Yun to send people flying like that and smash a boat like that? <laughs> what a weird way to throw your spear. Also, what was that supposed to be? Was that supposed to be, like, Hu Lao? Because Hu Lao was never at any point flooded. <laughs> to Xu Huang now. Xu Huang does not have a Muso mode. Uh, I'll show everyone that has a Muso mode. We have Zhao Yun, Guan Yu, Zheng Fei, Zhuge Liang, and Liu Bei for Xu. 
another few. Uh, Yo Zhou Yu, Lu Xun, Sun Cheng Cheng, Gan Ning, and Sun Yan for Wu. That's it for Wu. Yo Sha Hodun, Yan Wei, Simi Yi, Zhang Liao, and Cao Cao for Wei. And Yao Chan and Lu Bu for others. Play as you want, yeah. Maybe at some point. Maybe it will stream Dice Warrior Sits just to play all the characters that, you know, don't have moves other than this. So I can play as you want, yeah. Give me an excuse to play as Xiao Kao to actually show off her moveset. Because otherwise, we're not going to see it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it for the stream. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.